15,000 more of Hillary Clinton's private emails uncovered by the FBI. Democratic presidential nominee previously insisted she turned over all of her work-related messages back in 2014, though. It's the court who wanted answers to these questions. Mrs. Clinton didn't want to provide them. None of this has been voluntary. This is the result of the FBI going and getting records. The FBI has just discovered 15,000 new emails from Hillary Clinton's private server. That's about half as many as they already had. Now, the FBI has been investigating this case for over two years, and you would think that by now they would have discovered everything, but apparently emails that are sitting in a single, easily hackable private server can be quite difficult to find. Now, Hillary Clinton said she had turned over all of the emails she had that were related to her work as Secretary of State, but it looks like she may not have been telling the truth. Again, apparently 200 of the new emails are actually related to her work as Secretary of State. The emails show that Clinton staffers were actually tapped to set up meetings and arrange favors for individuals who were listed as, quote, good friends of ours. Now, how does one become a good friend with Hillary Clinton? Like most things in the world, friendship with the world's most powerful woman comes with a price tag. For two years, Americans have been hearing words like Clinton, emails, private server, and the Clinton Foundation. The scandal just keeps going and going and going. There's no end in sight, but there may be light at the end of the tunnel. November just keeps getting closer. Caleb Maupin, RT, Washington, D.C. Yeah, as Caleb was saying there, those new emails are set to be made public right before November's election. It'll be interesting to see what uh, that stirs. The Republicans are accusing Clinton of perjury, claiming she lied under oath to Congress about handing over all her emails previously, and that's not all. She first said the emails contained, you may recall, no classified information, and that her lawyers thoroughly had searched all her correspondence. Then she claimed to be using the one server for her communications, that she'd handed over all of her messages to investigators. All of those claims were later found to be untrue. Clinton also has been accused of telling lies by former Secretary of State Colin Powell, but the current Democratic presidential candidate said it was Powell who'd advised her to use a private email server. The argument goes on. Powell responded by explaining that uh, Clinton was using it for a year before he told her to and that she's simply trying to pin the blame on him. Powell has uh, dismissed that at an appearance in East Hampton, New York. Uh, recently, uh, he's kind of annoyed that the Clinton campaign is trying to pin this on him, and I don't blame him. But the one issue that even the Trump campaign and certainly the media have uh, seemed to have ignored in this whole mess is the fact that President Obama changed the rules in 2009, immediately upon taking office. In January of 2009, he ordered that all government emails be kept on, on uh, public email servers and that no private email servers uh, or other forms of control be used. So when Secretary Clinton decided to go with the private server, uh, it doesn't really matter when she says that uh, former secretaries like Madeleine Albright and Colin Powell used private email servers. That doesn't matter because the rules changed under the president who appointed her as Secretary of State.